Stuart for the Game Nexus here again for another Infinity Top 5 video. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the units for the faction Hakislam in their two, uh, two sectorial forces, the Assassin Baram and the Koopa Kelpi. Um, as a faction, Hakislam is a, um, it is a new, it, it literally means new Islam uh, post scientific reformation, the sort of second golden age. They're focused on science and um, just the um, applications of, of new technologies. They're um, sort of in-universe, uh, known for making a substance known as silk, which is a, a um, neurologic, or not neurological, but nervous system stimulant that's used in military applications. Um, so they have access to a tremendous amount of biotech um, and also um, the most religious troops in the game and um, some of the access to some of the best doctors in the game, which we will see. Uh, so uh, to start off uh, with Hassassin Baram, their number five choice that we picked here, and at this point I do want to give a shout out to John Loper. Thank you very much for your input on this video. Um, our first pick was the Gazi Mutt. So the Gazi Mutt is a, um, just a fantastic list filler. Five points gets you a chain rifle, an e merit, jammer, and smoke grenades on a dogged regular order with extremely impetuous. Okay, so this is a guy who can run up the table super fast, lay down smoke. Um, Lots of really good toys uh, to trip up your opponent uh, for area denial um, and five points. These are they're just a fantastic little unit. Um, as a con, um, they are quite hard to control, so that it's the the irregular order is not going to be able to cancel his extremely impetuous. So unless you want to. Um, requisition orders from somewhere else in your list. You are going to be moving him whether you want to or not. Um, the second uh, model that we've got here is um, Hassan ha uh, Hussam Yasbir, who I have personally faced and he is terrifying. <laughs> um, Yasbir is a beast 34 point option uh, with hollow projector level 2 uh, and infiltration with um, the, the the classic rifle light shotgun combo, which is a, a staple of Hakislam. They have like an underslung shotgun on all of their rifles, uh, nanopulsor and smoke grenades, um, and uh, he is incredibly good in close combat. Martial arts level three and a base close combat of 22. Uh, however, with a single wound and only an armor one, uh, he can become exposed quite quickly. The next pick we have is uh, the Asawara Regiment. Um, so these are uh, they're a heavy infantry. It's got regeneration on a two wound model with martial arts level two, um, and he has frenzy, which means whenever he deals his first wound, he becomes um, impetuous, but not extremely impetuous. So you are going to have like essentially an optional second. Uh, order for him, uh, but they are uh, very exper or expensive, 35 points for boarding shotgun and 44 uh, for a Spitfire being the range. Um, the next order or next unit we picked is the uh, Assassin Fide. These are the um, infiltrating specialists. Uh, pretty much for Hack Islam as, a, as an entire faction. Uh, so it's got infiltration, impersonation, and martial arts level 2 with a base close combat of 21. So you're going to be able to get that up quite high. You're going to be starting in your opponent's deployment zone essentially as an impersonation marker that, that your opponent can't do anything about it until he or she reveals it as being that, or unless you go up and shank someone in the back. With his um, low armor and a single wound, 
um, and his rather high price point in the 30s, um, he is going to be probably a one-shot deal. So you're going to want to pick an expensive unit, but chances are he is going to be able to take whatever you put up against him, because that is his jump. Uh, next, the uh, number one unit we picked was the Assassin AR. Uh, hollow projector level two, free agent, and specialist. Um, he can the his the hollow projector two is going to keep him safe as one of three potential markers. Free agent means he's going to be able to move between combat groups after the order count, meaning that um, in the mid to late game you're not going to run out of orders uh, and find yourself high and dry with your uh, IR not being able to do anything, uh, which is super sweet. Uh, but you are paying for that privilege. For 37 and 39 points being the range. Um, with uh, fairly underwhelming uh, weapon loadouts, um, even with uh, the inclusion of surprise shot level 2 on a couple of those loadouts, it's still uh, very expensive and you're going to need to employ him in a very specific role to get um, a sufficient use out of that. So uh, now it's the top 5 for Hakuslan's second sectorial, the uh, Koopa Kalki. Um, which is the uh, much less assassiny um, sectorial for Hakaslan, uh, but still with a ton of really cool units. So uh, coming in at number five, uh, I picked the Sakban Naval Special Unit. Uh, so it has 360 uh, visor, meaning that it draws 360 on the side around it, and zero G terrain, which might be coming in handy uh, in a certain online campaign being run right now. Um, and uh, Fireteam Core and Duo. Um, they are uh, very much a thematic unit uh, with loadouts um, to uh, match their um, sort of fluff based role as a breaching and clearing unit um, in sort of space, basically. Um, they also uh, are blessed with armor 3, meaning that they can uh, wither some serious hits. Uh, however, like most units, uh, that um, armor 3 uh, is going to cause a reduction in movement. They're 4 2, so they're um, going to suffer uh, in their mobility, uh, which is unfortunate. Coming in at number 4, Special Deterrence Group Azrael, which is um, one of the newer units, it's pretty much exactly what you think when you think Infinity uh, Heavy Infantry. Um, it's, you know, a gigantic mech suit. Um, two loadouts, either an AP HMG uh, for... Um, sorry, so either an AP HMG or a Feuerbach um, on a robust frame of armor 5, meaning it can take a ton of damage. Um, and uh, a reasonable points cost, uh, but the uh, HMG is going to run you 2 SWC and the uh, Feuerbach at 1.5. Um, so including more than one is going to be a major points sink, and they are not very mobile, but you know, they're board control units uh, to the core. Coming in at number three, uh, I picked the Janzerban Tactical Group. So, a uh, multi spectral visor two, a regenerate um, with uh, single wounds, um, which is kind of a bummer, but the uh, sniper model BS12 um, with a um, for 31 points and an armor base three, which is really good, uh, and a single SWC. Um, the Janzerban has a lot of loadouts, so that's just kind of one I wanted to focus on. Um, and uh, Fireteam Core means that you can really get um, very high burst out of pretty much any loadout that you take in that team. Um, the problem is that the other loadouts are quite expensive uh, and they uh, 
have a lot of SWC um, making up for the presence of that uh, MSV level 2 that they're packing. Um, making them kind of not a very good pick as a linchpin unit uh, in your army, but still an amazing pick. Uh, number 2 is the Odalesque. No wound incapacitation, I call 3 and 6 cents with a fire team core, 360 visor. They are a force to be reckoned with, make no mistake about it. Even uh, with their fairly, um, just slightly over average close combat of 13, the minus 9 that that I call level 3 is bringing to your opponent is going to make all those shots, or hits rather, count when you make them. Uh, the um, minus nine is just an incredible um, thing that you're bringing into any close combat you get into. Um, but their uh, loadouts are uh, kind of weak, and they don't have access to smoke or any kind of defensive weaponry in that uh, vein, making uh, sort of clearing the gap between the odalisk and the enemy very difficult. Um, it will require a very specific placement and synergy with other units with smoke to get them uh, into combat. And number one, um, I picked the Janissaries. These are another one of those uh, Apex heavy infantry units. Arm four, two wounds, religious, uh, fire team, core, uh, loadout and access to Akbar Doctor, making them the best Doctor unit in the game, basically. Um, you make one Doctor roll and you can recover a multi wound model up to full health. Um, it also includes the Doctor Plus skill, meaning that single wound models are being healed in 17s and under. Uh, so the Janissaries are very, very good, and when they are in a fire team, the mobility and firepower is amplified that much and you can really get them around the board and healing things uh, that need to be healed. Um, the fire team um, will be very expensive though, so I feel like getting the full use out of the uh, Janissaries that you'll be buying in the box set uh, is going to be a major point sink, um, but I think that it will be made well worth it in the end. So those are my picks for the top five of the two Hakislam sectorial forces. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, Hakislam is not one of the factions I currently have an army in, uh, but I feel like I made uh, some pretty good choices with a little bit of help. So just let me know what you think uh, down in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. Uh, if you like the content we do here, please subscribe to get more videos. And uh, yeah, check out our channel and our website. And uh, come back when we have another video. Thanks.